Hello everyone, bringing you another unboxing video today and what we're going to be looking at is a few bits and pieces which have been sent over to me by my friend Lee Neal who lives over in Australia and he sent me some Australian items of, of militaria, very kind of him indeed and without further ado we'll get into the main part of the video and have a look at what has arrived. So here we are, I've unfastened the tape and everything from this and opened it up just to avoid all that faffing around in the video. Push this out of the way now and we'll have a look at the bits and pieces which have arrived individually. So. And we have uh, here Australian Military Forces, Infantry Training, Volume 4, Part 2 of the Platoon from 1967, so middle years of the Vietnam War. Thank you very much, Lee. I think this is going to be a fantastic resource for, for understanding Australian platoon tactics of the time period. So you know, a typical platoon defended locality, the platoon headquarters and the disposition of the different sections there. Let's flick through, see what else we can find, just as a oh, by way of an example. Section on navigation, tropical navigation some diagrams and tables in here a radio and line diagram rifle company De details of uh, artillery the light air portable howitzer which of course was in use in Vietnam at the time different uh, vehicles and weaponry And this is going to be a very, very interesting thing to have a proper flick through. Thank you very much for that, Leo. Lee. Much appreciated. A couple of other, well, sort of sort of bits of paperwork. Uh, a couple of range cards here. So we've got one from 2007, one from 2002. And then on the back here we have a guide for judging distance, different markers for different uh, features. So they're interesting as well. Thank you very much for those, Lee. And let's have a look here. A pair of uh, boxer shorts, underwear, issue underwear, I think, in blue. Quite similar to the, the Vietnam era uh, underwear I have, though obviously in blue rather than the, I think it's like a light olive colour, I would describe it as. Let's have a look at the label here. So come on into focus if we can. 2007 and then you've got the, uh, the NATO stock number there size and so forth and then details on the back made in China of course so issue underwear relatively recent issue underwear a t-shirt it's designed to be worn with the well intended to be worn with the disruptive pattern camouflage uniform of course in this dark tan color and we've got again the label up here uh, walkabout presumably the the, uh, the manufacturer good name for a company that size medium and we've got the date there of 2010 so again quite recent made in australia in this instance that's a, a lovely thing as well thank you for that uh, lee and then we have some disruptive pattern camouflage uniform itself a shirt or, or jacket which is nice, including insignia. It's out here. So, uh, last name Foggy, I think, in the name name tag there. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. See, Corporal, uh, rank slide here with the Australia title on there. I think it's a Velcro, Velcro uh, rank tab on the front there, and then the the biscuit badge up on the arm here. The uh, Rising Sun, the old design of cap badge, been around for a long time, of course. So that's rather nice, I have to say. Have a look at the label here as well. Uh, again, 2010. I think this is the last issue of, of DPCU before uh, transferring over onto what is essentially Multicam. Can't tear them. Again, if that's the company name, that's a great name for a company, particularly a clothing manufacturer. And uh, quite a nice design with these vertical zipped chest pockets which of course is advantageous because if you're wearing web gear you can get in underneath the uh, the braces the um, suspenders of your web equipment if you've got to uh, the uh, those sort of chest pockets like that it's a good good design for when you're wearing web gear over the top of it or web equipment over the top of it and then we have an arm pocket there and the same on the other side and presumably velcro for attaching more insignia there should you need to velcro cuffs as well perhaps something we'll look at in in a future video in a bit more detail looking at disruptive pattern camouflage uniform. I'm massing a little bit of a collection of that now. And then a pair of, I think, matching trousers 
So have a look here. You're labeling these. There is it's a little bit faded. Get that to the camera there. Hope it'll focus again. There we go. Not a huge amount of detail on there, but 2004 Ada Victoria. And these are, bring these out here. We have obviously belt loops here. Come on, autofocus. There we go. Belt loops, you've got the adjustment at the waist here with Velcro tabs, which is an interesting way of doing it rather than using buttons or a buckle. Zip fly. Uh, zip leg pockets as well by the look of it which is an interesting feature of the design you can see there concealed zip on the leg pockets and then we turn this round a single rear patch pocket a button pocket on the rear there nice feature of the design i have to say i've just noticed here is the, the draw cords elastic draw cords at the ankle uh, with a, a pull tab on them rather than uh, a toggle rather than uh, just having to tie them off that's a nice feature of the design i have to say so uh, there we are, and the trousers to go with the shirt as well. Thank you very much indeed for this lot, Lee. Very much appreciated, and I, I look forward to trying these on, seeing if they fit, and uh, having a look at them in more detail. Thank you very much indeed. So there we are. Thank you very much once again, Lee, not only for what you sent me in the video here, but also the advice and so forth you've provided me uh, regarding Australian military kit and so forth. It's greatly appreciated, as well as sending me bits and pieces like this. So thank you very much once again. For those of you who've watched this video and have enjoyed it and would like to see more of this sort of thing, please do consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And whether you're newly subscribing or you've previously subscribed, please do make sure you hit the little bell, little notification button down below, which will, of course, alert you when I upload future videos. If you really like my uploads and you would like to support the channel, you can. Both Patreon and PayPal are linked down below. And as ever, a huge thank you to everybody who supports the channel using those two methods. It's greatly appreciated, as I always say. If you'd like to follow the channel on social media, you can. Facebook, Instagram and Twitter are all linked down below. And if you'd like to get in touch but you don't really use social media, there is, of course, an email address down there as well. But that's everything for this video. So until next time, bye for now.